Okay, uh, this is going to be uh, part seven series on uh, making investment castings, lost wax castings. Um, it's called either name investment is um, what we're going to be doing in the next part of this video. Uh, and I'll explain that to you what that is, but the, it, it's basically uh, uh, wax uh, patterns that are melted out of the uh, investment, which we'll show you in a few minutes. But anyway, uh, right now this part of the, this portion of the video, we're going to show you a little bit on how uh, you, you make a tree. It's called the tree. Why? Because this is the trunk and then all the parts that are going to be glued onto it are the um, patterns which makes it look kind of like a tree. So they call it a tree. Um, I have a um, mold here. This is the mold. And I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see. All right, and uh, inside here, I'll do these four bolts. And it's styled, pinned together, so it's, so it's, uh, and then there's inside the mold. Okay, we'll go into how I made it in another time, but, and then these are, these parts here are the cores. Goes like that, and then one goes on the other side, like that. And then uh, before you pull it apart, you pull these out, pull the piece apart, and uh, you pull out the wax, which is kind of in there like that. You shoot it here, and it fills up the cavity, and you pull out the two ends, and that creates the little D-shape inside there. And I'm giving away all my secrets, but... It's not really you no know, rocket science right here. And of course we use this um, thing here, air pressure on it. This is warm, you shoot the wax in there and you take it apart and so on. And that's how, it, uh, that's how you make the parts. We'll go into making molds another time. But uh, for right now, basic part of this video is to show you how we do the treeing. Now, this right here is a soldering gun, small one. And uh, may not be the best thing to use. I have this other... Um, apparatus here which is a, um, a a wax pen and I'm not using that right at the moment but for fine stuff you use this thing it's a little bit less heat and that works okay but this works a little quicker once you get learn how to use it and uh, um, what I'm going to show you now is how he just wax it up I, I, I take this part this little piece on the top here This little piece on the top right here from that step up is nothing more than a, a sprue, part of the sprue. So you use that to, to, um, to cast it. And uh, I want to melt this little piece in here. I'm going to melt this, get it a little soft, and then I just stick it on there like glue. I hold it for a second. I'm angling, angling it so I can fit four across. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Then I take it like this, and I just take this very carefully. And go around and what I'm doing is just wax welding basically and that's it and I put the second one on see and the reason why I angle it because if I put it this way they come too close together this way gives a little more room in between the castings and that melt part of this down just get that kind of molten, liquidy. Put that on there and just stick it on. There we go. Okay, hope that it stays. I need to weld it on there. Be careful not to hit the pattern. Like I just did there a second. Oh, 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 it's starting to move. Put too much heat. That's set up. It, you know, the temperature today, right in here, is probably about 85. I don't have air conditioning. But um, it would help if you had air conditioning in the shop for this kind of stuff. Because what happens is the wax gets to be too soft. In the wintertime when I do this, it's a little easier. 
Now, believe it or not, I had these in the refrigerator, which helps a little bit. It keeps them cool, and uh, it hardens the wax up. So, if you want to see a good video on this, go to David Flowers' video, um, and I'll put his website down here, his YouTube uh, website, and go there, and he'll sh he sh shows how to do a lot of this stuff. But basically, he taught me how to do it, and. I kind of already knew I've done it before years ago, but um, um, really not that hard. You got to just be patient with it. Like right now, I'm getting impatient. But uh, all right, and then. Uh, you just continue to do that all the way around. I put four levels, and then you wind up with this, which is a tree. And a nice little tree of 12 bodies. So every time I cast, I get 12, 12 bodies. And um, uh, this rubber thing, of course, that goes on the flask, which is this thing right here. We've seen these before. And um, we have to, the holes, obviously, we, if you're going to pour investment in here, liquid plaster, basically, it's going to come out the holes, right? So what we do is we take masking tape, and we tape this up very carefully and make sure it's all tight on there. Because one that, one of the things I did yesterday, it leaked out of one of the holes because the tape wasn't perfectly tight. So I just put another patch on it real quick, and it, I was able to save it. But uh, uh, when you put this in, you put it down carefully over the top of this, and then you insert that rubber thing on the end and uh, that makes your mold and then you pour your investment in here which we're going to do next so um, that's basically how you tree up a, up a, a, the wax okay, so now we're going to go over and we're going to make some investment and invest one of the uh, uh, molds and show you how to, to mix the investment and what to do and so on so